Can you believe it? China will lead the global lidar market in the next three years. According to statistics, 50% of the lidar market in the global autonomous driving industry is occupied by Chinese manufacturers. Most of the laser radars used in the early autonomous driving industry used products from American companies, such as Velodyne. China's lidar companies quickly developed key technical components such as lidar processing chips, an area arrays for sending and receiving laser chips. As a result, China has the technological advantage to compete with first movers like the United States. Therefore, Chinese lidar companies with technological and price advantages quickly defeated American companies. With the rapid rise of China's lidar companies, several pioneers in the United States are now in trouble. Fast Radius filed for bankruptcy, Quanergy Systems filed for bankruptcy protection, and Velodyne and Ouster chose to merge. Moreover, China's lidar companies are independently developed from chips to algorithms, and are not subject to overseas technology at all. Due to its many technological advantages, China's lidar technology has been included in the China Export Prohibited and Restricted Technology Catalog. Of course, China only restricts the export of lidar technology, but does not restrict the export of lidar products. In this way, China's lidar will continue to maintain its technological leadership. So, what is lidar? What is it good for? Why do related companies in other countries go bankrupt one after another, and only China is still in mass production? Okay, that and more is exactly what we are going to talk about today. Let's get started. On February 10, Hesai Technology, China's first lidar stock, officially landed on Nasdaq in the United States, with a latest total market value of 2.621 billion US dollars. This is the biggest for Chinese firm to go public in the US since Didi went public in the US in July 2021. The prospectus documents show that Hesai Technology has cumulatively shipped more than 80,400 LIDAR units in 2022, ranking first in the world. It is also the first company in the world to deliver more than 10,000 LIDARs per month. The LIDAR industry has high technical barriers. Hesai Technology is one of the few influential Chinese technology companies that supply core components in batches in the global, unmanned driving industry chain. However, Hesai Technology is still in a state of continuous losses. In 2019, 2020, 2021, and the first nine months of 2022, its net losses were 120 million yuan, 107 million yuan, 245 million yuan, and 175 million yuan. The costs were 150 million yuan, 230 million yuan, 368 million yuan, and 376 million yuan, respectively. So, what is LIDAR? What is it good for? After the first generation Beetle came out in 1938, European and American consumers at that time knew that the curves of cars could be so smooth. Before that, the cars were all square iron boxes, not to mention the aerodynamic design. With the accumulation of technology, after entering the 21st century, almost all cars have also become streamlined roof designs. However, this beautiful and scientific streamlined design has been broken by the loading of LIDAR in recent years. In 2005, when the Stanford team won the DARPA Grand Challenge with a vehicle equipped with five LIDARs, developers of autonomous driving turned their attention to LIDAR, a, not young, technology product. The earliest laser radar can be traced back to 1963. American Frank McComa designed a laser device that can measure the distance to measure the distance of objects within 7 miles. Then the device was named, Laser Radar, and later evolved into a tool specially used for speed measurement to check the speed of vehicles. The utility of LIDAR was first discovered by the public during the Apollo 15 mission in 1971, when astronauts used laser altimeters to map the lunar surface. At the same time, LIDAR has also been applied to the military field. Compared with traditional radar, LIDAR has the advantages of high precision, fast response and stable imaging. It can obtain an accurate three-dimensional topographic map of an area in a short time and is not affected by day and night, season, climate, temperature, illumination changes and various disturbances. Soon, it was being used on reconnaissance aircraft, helicopters and surface ships for reconnaissance and obstacle avoidance missions. However, 
the mechanical structure used in traditional LIDAR is prone to decline in scanning accuracy due to vibration during high-speed movement, and its relatively large volume cannot meet the needs of miniaturization. In 1994, Laurel Vogt developed a solid-state imaging laser radar, which can distinguish objects of 15 cm from 1,000 m away. At the same time, the LIDAR is small in size and light in weight and can be installed on small equipment such as drones, and its price is much lower than traditional products. After that, it successfully won a large order from the military. The LIDAR used by the Stanford team that won the Autonomous Driving Grand Prix mentioned above is from SIC AG in Germany, and its subsidiary IBO is the only company in the world that produces automotive, grade LIDAR. Although LIDAR technology was able to help vehicles realize autonomous driving technology in 2005, the actual loading of LIDAR still faces many problems. The first is cost. Although LIDAR has advantages such as small size and low price in the military field, these are all relative to expensive military weapons and equipment. For example, the development cost of the UAV 3D LIDAR developed by Lockheed Martin for the US military is as high as 7.8 million US dollars. The price of a Predator drone equipped with this system is as high as 100 million dollars. If you want to apply such expensive equipment to ordinary passenger cars, you must first solve the price problem. In addition to the price issue, the service life is also a headache. The mechanical structure used in mechanical LIDAR has a service life of only a few thousand hours, which is difficult to meet the demand of more than 10,000 hours for vehicles. At this time, mainstream manufacturers are focusing on hybrid solid-state LIDAR, so that they can take into account the issues of life and cost. In 2017, the Audi A8 was equipped with Vallejo's hybrid solid-state LIDAR becoming the first mass-produced car to achieve L3 autonomous driving, but it did not push LIDAR and autonomous driving further. 2022 is known as the first year of LIDAR. In this year, more than 10 cars equipped with LIDAR were released, most of which are Chinese brands. In the face of the price that everyone cares about, the cost of China's LIDAR has been reduced to less than US$2,000, and it also has better performance. For example, HES IAT-128 LIDAR can achieve ultra-high frequency detection of 1.53 million points per second. At the same time, the former industry leader Velodyne also reduced the price of its own LIDAR to $4,000. At present, there are seven LIDAR companies in the Chinese market that have entered the lead passenger car brand pre-installation mass production, delivery cycle. The data shows that from January to November 2022, 98,400 passenger cars in the Chinese market, excluding imports and exports, are equipped with LIDAR as standard equipment. Beginning in 2023, as car companies such as BYD and Chang'an begin to enter the cycle of LIDAR onboard vehicles, they will continue to drive market growth. It is predicted that in 2023, the standard LIDAR delivery of passenger cars in China will sprint to a scale of 400,000 to 500,000 units. All in all, the great success of LIDAR proves the strong strength of China's technology industry. In these emerging technology industries, China already has a sufficient foundation to create world-leading technology products based on the domestic industrial chain. So, are you optimistic about the development of LIDAR? Well, thanks for your listening, and please be free to put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.